Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about Paramecium. So now let's get straight to it. Paramecium is a single-celled protozoan that belongs to the kingdom Protista. It was first discovered by Antoni van Leeuwenhoek, the father of microbiology as early as 1674. The name comes from the Greek word paramex, which describes the cell's oblong, oval shape. Paramecium has a stiff outer cover that gives it a slipper-like appearance. Paramecium do not have vital organs such as the brain, heart, eyes, kidneys, and ears. Their lengths range from 50 to 350 micrometer, which is 6,000 times smaller than a paperclip. Paramecium are present naturally in most water habitats, such as freshwater ponds and rivers. They can also be found in areas of high salinity, for example Paramecium calcinsi that can live in tidal brine pools near the sea. As a part of ciliates, Paramecium are covered in cilia, which are short hair-like structures. They are wonderful swimmers and can move forward at rates up to four times their own length per second. Paramecium consume bacteria, algae, and yeast as food. They are able to detect bacteria and other prey by sensing certain chemical indicators, like folic acid and other metabolites of the cell. By the help of cilia, paramecium sweep the food into the oval groove and then digested within the cell in the food vacuoles through a process called phagocytosis. Predators of paramecium include amoeba, didiniums, and water fleas. They use spiky trichocysts for defense and perform avoidance reactions quickly in which the cilia beat to swim backward. Paramecium have anal pore, two contractile vacuoles that regulate the water content of the cell, and two nuclei. A large macronucleus and at least one small micronucleus. The macronucleus is the center of all metabolic activities and regulate most cell functions, while the micronucleus is involved in the reproduction. When abundant nutrients are available with appropriate conditions, paramecium reproduce asexually by binary fission, in which a fully grown organism divides into two daughter cells. Some species can undergo binary fission so many times before they lose their vitality, whereas species like Paramecium tetrarelia is only able to undergo fission 200 times before expiring. Sexual reproduction by conjugation takes place under conditions of starvation. It involves the temporary union of two genetically compatible organisms and the exchange of micronuclear elements. Under conditions of prolonged starvation, paramecium can undergo autogamy or self-fertilization. It is the same as conjugation, but it is only happening with a single cell. Did you know that paramecium are able to learn, despite having no nervous system? Studies show that cell memory may be possible. They can be taught to differentiate different levels of brightness. Species like paramecium caudatum are able to communicate through glass barrier. It is believed that they use a form of weak electromagnetic radiation, biophotons to communicate. Also, paramecium is useful to monitor water quality. Researchers noticed that their swimming speeds declined when pollutants such as heavy metals zinc chloride and copper sulfate were present in the sample. There are species like paramecium aurelia, which contain kappa particles that can kill other strains of paramecium. The killer trait is caused by the particles, which are the symbiotic bacteria. The earliest fossil discovered of paramecium dated back at least 65 million years ago. They could be the oldest creatures on Earth, emerging nearly 4 billion years ago. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.